breaking news for you this morning out of Davis County where there is a massive police presence. They're searching for a, a man accused of assault earlier this week. ABC 4 Sarah Martin now reporting live from the scene. So Sarah, we've been uh, on the outskirts of getting this information this morning. What do we know right now? Brian, what we know right now, there's an active manhunt underway for somebody in a neighborhood on foot. Right here, we're at about 1500 south between Clearfield and Farmington right off of the freeway. So I'm standing on the frontage road at about 1500 South. Again, an active manhunt. We've got a live interview right now with Devin Rogers, the assistant chief with the Clearfield Police Department. Thanks so much for chatting with us. What can you tell us right now? Are people in danger at this point? Uh, we're concerned based on the subject's actions that we're looking for that um, if, if confronted, he may be a dangerous person to people. So yes, we are concerned. So you've been looking for him for a couple of days. This began with an altercation on Wednesday, but this morning I understand he carjacked a, a car with a person inside. Correct. Uh, there was some warrants issued out of Layton City for this individual for an aggravated circumstance um, that occurred in their city on Wednesday. Uh, this individual was spotted in Clearfield uh, late, or sorry, early Friday morning. Officers gave chase and um, lost the vehicle, but he abandoned that vehicle and using a, a firearm, he carjacked another vehicle. He carjacked another vehicle and then fired a shot around from that vehicle? That's correct. He fired around through one of the window windows of the vehicle. Um, fortunately, the victim in that vehicle was not seriously injured. Was he firing at police at that point? No, there, we, I don't have any knowledge at this point that he fired at police. However, in a subsequent pursuit, when they located that stolen vehicle or that carjacked vehicle, he did uh, attempt to ram a police vehicle and, and then fled southbound to our location here. So police spiked his vehicle on I-15 traveling northbound and then he ran on foot into this neighborhood behind us? Uh, ve uh, police spiked his vehicle southbound on I-15 um, and then he fled on foot from that vehicle at about our location here, fled eastbound into uh, the neighborhood here. So he's been on the run here for going on five hours now in this neighborhood. What are we exactly concerned about? What are police looking for specifically? And what do you want the public here to do? So our, our concern is primarily his actions that he's demonstrated over the last few days, his use of a firearm, his his willingness to use a firearm. Um, right now, we, we got multiple officers, multiple jurisdictions that are in the area that are um, doing a grid by grid search, looking for this individual. Um, we're just asking individuals that if they see anything suspicious to contact 911, if they don't need to be out, don't be out. Do you have evacuations in place at this point? Do you want people to stay in their homes? No, we don't have an evacuation in place. Early this morning when this incident transpired here, they did uh, do a reverse 911 to this area uh, with a shelter in place as part of that reverse 911 message out to them. Okay, and can we talk about the, the suspect at this point? So we know his name, Joseph Maynard, 32, is that right? Can you give us any kind of description? Yeah, last known description of him, uh, well, He's a white male. Last known description we had for him was he was wearing a black cap, ball cap, and a uh, red shirt. Black ball cap, red shirt, white guy, early 30s. Okay, again, his name is Joseph Maynard. You haven't released any photos of him yet. Are you planning on doing so? I imagine they will in the coming, uh, as time allows us to. It's very fluid, very dynamic situation, so. Right. Any other last minute pieces of, of information here you want people in this neighborhood to know? Well, I would just ask that the public, there, there's a lot of road closures going on right now in this area. As you can see behind me, this entire frontage road is closed from our location um, for a mile that way at least. Right. Uh, there's also other streets that are closed down. Please please avoid the area if you, if you don't need to be here. You won't be able to make it through anyways. Please allow the officers to do their job. All right, we're speaking with Devin Rogers, Assistant Chief with Clearfield City. Thank you so much. Thank you. A quick rehab here for our audiences. I'm standing right about 1500 South on the frontage road, right between Clearfield and Farmington. There's an active manhunt right now. 32 year old Joseph Maynard, a white male is on foot and possibly hiding in this neighborhood. Police are looking for him because he has outstanding warrants in multiple cities and carjacked a car with someone inside firing shots with that person inside the car earlier this morning. So again, a very fluid and active situation. We'll be sure to update you just as soon as we learn more from police here on scene. I'm Sarah Martin reporting live from Clearfield, ABC4 News.